For this week's video, I want to do something a little different. So every sailboat owner knows how difficult it is to get good photos of your own boat, especially with the sails up and underway. So this week, I wanted to share my top 10 photos that I've gotten of my boat, Mandatory Fun. So number 10. Um, so in this one, the boat is beached in a cove. And, you know, I really like the depth of the photo. It shows, you know, a lot of the background kind of to the horizon with a little peak of the mountains, um, you know, all the trees. Um, but also, you know, the clear water, it makes it look like the boat is just floating. Um, and then, you know, the waves hitting the hull kind of give it that sense of motion. Um, and, you know, the boat is just super clean. It's shiny, sparkly, uh, and I think it looks great. Great photo. So number nine. Um, you know, I think sunset sailboat photos are kind of a cliche, but uh, this one I just really liked. Um, you know, you've got the kind of the beams of light, you know, both left and right. Um, the sun's partially masked by the mast. Um, some of the, you know, parts of the sails look kind of translucent. And then you've got those islands on the right that are just silhouetted. Um, and again, you know, I think it's a really good photo. Number eight, everybody loves a wing-on-wing -wing photo, and in this one I'm using my number four 80% jib, which is the bright crimson color, and I just love the way the red against the blue of the sky and the water um, just really pops. Number seven. So this photo was actually sent to me by uh, a photographer at Wild Places Studio, and um, you know, I'm only sailing mainsail only, but, you know, I think it's a great photo. It's really hard to get these photos of the boat underway while, you know, you're on it. Um, and so, you know, it has a lot of depth. You can see some of the snow on the mountains. And, um, yeah, just a really great photo. So number six is back in that save, same cove. Um, but what I did is I hiked up the hill and I took some pictures of the boat from above it. Um, and, again, you know, you get a little more depth. Um, you get the mountains on the horizon, and you really get a sense of, you know, the lake and the natural beauty around it. All right, number five. Uh, this was a photo that was actually uh, taken by a hiker, and then they went and contacted a park ranger uh, to make sure that I got a copy of it. So I didn't get their name, and, you know, I don't know who they are, but, you know, it's a great photo. Um, you know, the framing between the two trees is excellent. You know, you got the great depth with the mountain in the background and the trees. Um, but I think the best part of it really is the reflection. So the, the reflection on the water of the sail is just amazing. All right, number four, this is a photo that I took. Um, it was toward the end of the day, and I saw a boat that was beached. And so, of course, I wanted to go find out who this was. And so it was a guy in a Montgomery 17 um, that had uh, made a reservation at the backcountry campground. So he was basically beaching his boat every night and then camping in the campground. And so I pulled up next to him and he actually helped me uh, get the boat shore anchored and we had a good old time talking for hours and hours around the campfire. All right, number three, um, this is a great photo. I just, I love the blues in this photo. So I don't, you know, I don't know if it's the red, white, and blue, but certainly, you know, the blue in the sky and, you know, you can see it reflecting off the water and then the trees on the right that are kind of silhouetted. Um, I just, there's just something about this photo that I really like. All right, so number two, um, this is another one from Wild Places Studio. And um, the photographer was, you know, hiking around the lake and uh, got this shot. And, you know, it's really long. It's a narrow, I don't know what the format of it is, um, but it was super high res. It was like 27 meg um, when they sent it to me. And, you know, just the scale of it, right? So you don't realize when you're on the lake um, just, you know, how tall the mountains are around you. Um, but when I saw this photo, I was just taken aback by, you know, how small the boat looks and how big the mountains are. They just tower over the boat. And since it was so high res, of course, I could kind of zoom in a little bit. So here I cropped it. And, um, you know, again, it's, you know, you don't get that quite that scale, but, you know, still a, really a great photo. And, um, yeah, just really appreciate her, you know, sending it to me. All right, and number one. So this is a photo that I took early in the morning. Um, there was no wind. I didn't even take the covers off the sails. Um, and so I motored across the lake and beached uh, the boat in this little cove. And I just, there's just something about this photo with, you know, the light on the rocks and the background 
and then the mountains on the right side that are kind of silhouetted. And uh, yeah, the boat, you know, looks great. The environment looks great. The sky is beautiful. You know, the water, you can see how clear it is. And yeah, this is my favorite photo of the boat. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed looking at these photos. And as always, thanks for watching.